Hi guys, it's me. How's everybody doing? Today I thought of filming a video, a what's in my travel makeup bag video. And uh, guess what? I'm actually going on holiday. So I decided to show you guys the things that I am going to bring with me. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. So yeah, tomorrow night I'll be leaving and we'll be going to the United States actually. They're going to St. Louis. I have a wedding to attend to, so that's why um, there's a lot of chaos. I think I went slightly overboard, but who cares? So yeah, let me just show you. Uh, the bag I'm bringing is my new Zuka pouch. I bought this about a month ago with the idea of bringing uh, makeup for my upcoming trip. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So yeah, I must say that I had a lot of fun uh, putting stuff in this Zuka pouch because you can put a lot of things in here. Seriously, um, you could fit your whole makeup collection if you wanted to. Yeah, I remember when I bought this, I was a bit worried because I thought, geez, maybe this pouch is a bit too big. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to fit it up and all that jazz. Well, <laughs> couldn't have been more wrong. It took me like five minutes to put all this stuff already in here. And my brushes are actually missing. They are currently outside drying. I decided to give them all a good wash before packing them. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put them because as you can see, I am pretty full over here already. So we'll see. We'll see. So the stuff in this pouch is, I mean, nothing is in like any order whatsoever, I just put things wherever they fit it, basically. So, yeah, let's just get started. Mm, first thing, eyelash curlers, this one is by Chanel. Then I basically bought with me three foundations. Yes, I know, three is a bit excessive, but uh, what can I say, there's a wedding in the middle, there's going to be dinners, so I just didn't know what to, you know, I just wanted options, girls. We need options, right? So, I brought with me my MAC Face and Body Foundation, which um, I can already see myself using this stuff when everything's over. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be there for a week, and um, the wedding's going to be in the middle. So, when all the parties and everything is over, um, and I, you know, don't want to really put makeup and stuff, or at least not a lot of makeup, um, I'm just going to go with my MAC Face and Body, which I absolutely love. Yeah. As a primer, I decided to go for my Clarence um, Beauty Flash Balm, which I love a lot. I was a bit debated between this one and Benefits Professional, which I love, you all know. But I decided to go for this one because, you know, just want to change it up. Then I brought my Illamasqua, uh, what's this one called? Yeah, Rich Liquid Foundation, and this is what I'll be wearing on the wedding day because it is 100% uh, full coverage. I like how I look with this. It has no SPF, so great for pictures. So this is what I'm going to wear for my, not for my wedding day, for my cousin's wedding day. Then bronzer, I've got my Dior Nude Bronzer. Love this stuff. Then I'm bringing this little mini size of um, Lancome's Bifacil Makeup Remover. And this is not what I'm going to use on a daily basis, but I like having this like on my vanity and stuff because it comes in so handy when you have to, you know, l remove little mistakes when you put makeup and stuff, so that. Lip gloss by Illamasqua, this one is Frenzy. Max Select Cover Up. Concealer. Love this stuff. I've been loving this concealer so much. I love the fact that it is in a tube form, so it's just super, super hygienic. And 
pencil sharpener, my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, love that. Then I've got over here NARS Orgasm Blush. This is an eyeshadow by Victoria's Secret. It is called Hypergloss Eye Shimmer. And I love putting this on my eyelids with just, you know, a splash of color on my lower waterline. Very basic, but very summery and fresh. Oh, and this is the third foundation I packed. And this is brand new, actually. It is by Rimmel, and it is the Wake Me Up foundation. And this is new. I have never tried this foundation. And it is pretty suicidal to bring a new foundation on a holiday because, you know, what if you don't like it? But I want to try, and I'm curious. And the reason why I bought this is because um, recently I watched Tanya Burr's um, makeup, uh, the makeup she wore on her birthday. And I, she used this foundation, and I really, really loved the effect it uh, made on her face. The coverage was great. Very luminous. Uh, it resembled the NARS Show Glow a lot. I don't know why. But she loved it a lot, so I decided to give it a go. Then I'm bringing Laura Mercier's uh, Loose Mineral Powder. I use this as a setting powder, and I am in the color Rich Vanilla. Then I decided to bring two of my YSL's uh, Pure Chromatics palette. I decided to bring the number five, which is the one with the pink eyeshadow. Let me show you. This one is the number five, and actually, this is these are the these are the colors that I think I will be wearing the day of the wedding because I'm one of the bridesmaids, and our dresses are a very pastel pink color. So I think that these four shades will look great. And I'm already very familiar with these eyeshadows. I've worn them pretty much, as you can see. So it's going to be easy, and I already know how to combine them. So, yeah, good stuff. And then I also thought of bringing YSL's number one Pure Chromatics palette, which looks like this. Love it. Then I decided to bring this palette by Wa by Lancome. It's called their Baby Glam palette. And I'm not sure whether this was a limited edition or not. There are the colors. Very pretty. Very girly. Like them. Dior's Rosy Glow. This is one of the recent blushes I bought by Dior, the one that changes color according to your skin. Not quite sure about that, but I love this blush a lot. Some individual false eyelashes. These are so, so uh, easy to use, and uh, they always, always make a statement. Max number seven lashes, when I feel brave enough to wear false eyelashes. I'm not really that good at putting false eyelashes yet. I still need a lot of practice, but I don't really get the time and occasions to practice. Then I'm bringing this highlighter by Estee Lauder. And then over here we have a random selection of lipsticks. And oh, I, I, as lip gloss, I only brought this one, which is one of the golden glosses by YSL. Then I brought um, all my lip stains. So one, two, and three. Over here. And then this is a. This is a lipstick by Dior, which I love, which is called Runway Red. Love it. A very easy way to wear a red lipstick. And my new YSL lipstick as well. My only lip pencil by Dior called Earth. One of Chanel's uh, Illusion Diombe in Epatante. This is my favorite uh, color among all those shades. Max Paint Pot in Painterly as a base. Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Some Duo Glue for the lashes. New Dior's New Look Mascara. How could I go without this? But also, 
YSL Shopping Market. Lancome's Art Liner. This is going to be my basic eyeliner. YSL's Waterproof Eye Pencil in black. This is for my eyelashes. It's by Dior and it's called Sand. Love it. And then this uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil called Flipside. Uh, I love this as a pop of color uh, for on, on my under eyelashes. So yeah girls, that is all I'm bringing in terms of makeup. You think I brought enough? <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah, as you can see, everything fits perfectly. There's still space for more. But I told myself, you better stop, because this thing is quite heavy. Well, not that heavy, but, you know, not even that light. And anyway, this is, like, something totally new for me, because, as I told you, I'm not used to bringing that much makeup when I travel. I usually bring, like, the smallest and tiniest pouches you could ever think of. But uh, this time, with the wedding at all, I just needed, you know, more stuff with me, and plus, you know, We'll be meeting people, relatives I haven't seen in a long time, and uh, you want to look good, you know what I mean? So that said, we can move on to my toiletry bag. I thought of showing you that as well. Here we go. This is my toiletry bag. I've had this bag for a while. I really like it. Um, it's pink, so how can you not like it? And let's see what's inside. <laughs> Voila. My electrical toothbrush by Oral-B. My Clarisonic Mia, which, by the way, I need to remember to uh, charge it before I leave. The good thing about the Clarisonic is that once you charge it, it actually lasts a long, long time. Then we have my MAC Cleanse Off Oil, which I love a lot. A sponge makeup one and these are actually not the wipes that I use on a daily basis I use my Mac uh, makeup remover wipes and uh, but I have the big huge 100 pieces pack and that is not travel friendly so I thought of buying a little small one moisturizer my Lancome Jane Seek moisturizer which by the way I'm almost out of yes I think I only have like a week of product left so we can say that one jar of this lasts about a month, which is not good for how much I paid. I mean, I'm so, so sad that this stuff is already over. What to do? My Mason Pearson brush. I have some random clips. A sample of um, Kristen Dior's Hydra Life Eye Contour cream. Then in this little pouch I just put like um, q-tips and little cotton pads. Deodorant. I'm gonna use this as my body moisturizer because um, the moisturizer I'm using is in a huge huge bottle and uh, yeah that's not very good for traveling so I thought I found this little small Johnson's baby oil moisturizer so I thought why not? perfume. I decided to put my Prada candy and I basically finished the whole thing because I was almost out of it. And a razor. Little pouch here. I have my jewelry or costume jewelry if you want to be more specific. And then last but not least I wanted to show you uh, this little um, Ziploc bag I'm going to bring with me on the plane. So yeah, I'm bringing this random moisturizer I found yesterday in one of my local beauty stores. I was looking for a moisturizer that was cheap and that came in a tube form. And this is what I picked. Um, it has 40% aloe, aloe vera and I believe in the benefits of aloe vera. So I decided to give it a try and it's actually pretty, pretty good. I was trying it yesterday like on my neck and stuff and um, it's good. It's good stuff. So. I thought that, uh, yeah, it was worth trying. 
so you know just you know how drying the air on the airplane can be so at some point if I want to freshen up I could put some moisturizer and we've got hand sanitizer my Clarence lip perfecter my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer just before we arrive I want to look somewhat decent and then over here I have my lush tea tree water which I could just spray on my face to freshen up I've got this other sample of eye cream by Lancome and just a sample of uh, perfume I think this is Paco Rabanne so yeah this is what I'm going to carry with me on the plane in my handbag and also yesterday I found look how cute is this this is a mini Mason Pearson brush no just kidding this is not by Mason Pearson but it is exactly the same it is pure bristle and it is so small I could put this in my bag for obviously combing my hair and stuff pure bristle yeah so that comes with me as well so yeah this is all the things I'll be taking with me I think I have everything obviously things like shampoo and um, uh, shower gel and stuff um, I'm gonna use whatever my sister is bringing because you know I have my huge lush all that juicy shampoo which is completely I mean not travel friendly at all it comes in that big bottle and I just cannot carry that with me so yeah I can survive without that for a week I think so yes this is all the things I'm bringing I'm very excited to go on holiday I hope everything goes well and uh, yeah so look forward definitely to a haul when I come back because I already did some online shopping and had everything delivered to my cousin in the States so yeah good things will be coming up soon so I hope all of you are well and I'll see you in my next video